Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. This is Dan Storm with Excel VBA is Fun. Today we have another question. Um, somebody said, hey, I want to know how you can plop the... How do you plop the sum or the total of whatever you have in... how No matter how many rows you have, how do you automatically make the, the next one be the total? In fact, I'm going to uh, right-click and hit the, the letter I... Uh, on here to insert, I inserted a new column, and we'll, that way we can have it say the word total or something in column A. It's not necessary, but whatever. So, how do we make it automatically say, "Hey, I want the total of this," and right here, and put the, the words uh, the sum right there? So it's really easy, and we're going to show you how to do it. And I think this person was very close, but we'll just get some clarification. Oh, what I did there is I hit Alt F11. So you get in the Visual Basic Editor here. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we have a brand new workbook. We're going to insert, using this little drop-down menu, a new module. That's where code can be stored, and it's right here. So in order to make a new procedure, you just hit the word sub, hit space, and then just type whatever you want the name to be. So the name in this macro is going to be get sum. Get sum. Huh, that's funny. Okay, so here's here's her code, I'm going to paste it here what she had was last row and if you watched my video on the basic series on getting the last row she did great, she um, let's see here she had a worksheet with uh, some name like that, we're just going to use uh, sheet 1 as the name of our worksheet last row equals this workbook dot sheets and then the name of the sheet was there dot cells she wanted all no matter how many rows there were to go to the last row and the column 25 well ours is on column what 2 B is in column 2 yes so dot end going upwards from the last from the very bottom most row uh, in column 2 going all the way up just like when you hit control up and then we want to gleam the row so last row is good and we have an error because she did uh, she wanted this dot range y2 through y last row whatever that last row was uh, and to get the sum well there's no dot sum I'm sorry to say it would be really easy if it was but they didn't make it that easy Let's change that to sheet one also because we are using sheet one. Okay, here's the range we're using. I'm gonna take away this extra quote mark. We don't need that. So, um, well, actually, let's see if that works. I don't know. Why is dot sum underlined? Oh, I have never used that. I I usually uh, use the worksheet function. Let's. I'm very curious now. Dot sum really? Who? Okay, let's see. Let's change that to B. We're going to say B2 through B and whatever last row. So B2 through B15. Now we don't want it on B15 because then it'll copy over 878. So what do we do? We, whatever the last row is, we can say last row plus 1. Or we can say plus 1 right here if we wanted it to be, you know, if we wanted to say last row and it would actually be the next row, but whatever. So we'll just say b2 through b 15 plus 1 is 16 okay so b2 through b 16 uh, oh no sorry no 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 that's not right um, we want where do we want to put it we want to put it in range um, yeah you have to tell it what you want the sum to, where you want the sum to go so let's, we're gonna say copy that this work with that sheets, blah blah blah, range. How about B and uh, last row plus one equals that mess right there? So, if that makes any sense, um, so B sixteen is going to equal the value of what we want, which is uh, this work with that sheets, blah blah blah. Dot. Now I don't know if that dot sum will work. I've never used that. I'm gonna be honest, never used that. Let's hit enter. Okay, so yeah, no. I got excited because it automatically capitalized the word sum. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take 
uh, I'm going to expand this a little bit and I'll scroll over for you okay it's going to equal here's what I use um, application dot worksheet function and hit uh, open parentheses um, or no dot application dot worksheet function dot sum and really you don't have to put application dot you can just put worksheet function dot sum and when you hit open parentheses we're going to get the sum of what uh, I think in this case we want uh, this range here and close the parentheses there let's see if that works hit F8 and it sure does so if you look over here you see that we've just received uh, the sum of all that and so when we run our macro we're also going to say we're going to say blah 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 this location B uh, we're going to say A using the last row plus one so A16 is going to equal the word total or even total with a colon so that way whenever we run this code let's let's run it again let's see last row uh, this is total whoopsie here let me erase both these so it'll work great let's see last row is um, 15 and then last row plus 1 in column A says total and in column B is the actual total and just for fun I'm gonna make it bold so I'm gonna say blah 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 the one we just messed with in column B dot font dot bold equals true so I'll go up a little bit and hit F I'll hit F5 and so there's your there's your code right there I'm gonna hit uh, I'm gonna take the bold off of there now let's run our macro from the main window. Hit Alt F8. Let's cl double click on the one called Get Sum. Get the sum. Double click. There it is. Total. And here's your thing. Now let's try to trick Excel, shall we? Uh, let's erase those and make sure that it's not bold. We're going to add a few more. Okay. Um, in fact, let's just drag a bunch of these. And uh, we'll add a few more here. Okay, now here's auto sum, alt equals, okay, so it's 120046. Just remember that. Let's run our code now. Alt F8 and double click. Okay, so it worked. It bold, made it bold and it added the word total here and, and of course it totaled it. Um, what else? What else? Alt EAA to clear all. The only other thing I think would be probably appropriate if you already have something um, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit if you already have a button or something but I like to use shapes I like to make a, a real shiny one right here and then I'll say add some at bottom and then I'm going to go to the home tab I'm going to I'm going to Control A to select all. I'll up the font a little bit. Center, center, bold it. Up the font a little bit more. There we go. So when you click away, you got a nice shiny button. Right click and go to assign macro, and we're going to assign the macro called to get sum. So now whenever this button is clicked, it does, well, you guessed it. Bam. Okay. There's the total. Now, of course, if you do it again, it's going to add this along with it. It's going to keep adding that to the to the total. Thank you for watching and God bless.